After a number of delays and a redesign, residents in the Fort York neighborhood finally got their $20 million bridge. Construction began back in 2016, and now the Garrison Crossing Pedestrian Bridge is finally ready for use. It connects Trinity Bellwoods to Fort York, and people living in the community say they now feel a lot more connected to their neighbors. So he lives on that end and I live on that end, so it saves us a good 15 minutes of going to meet each other. Two pals getting together has become a lot easier because of this stainless steel bridge. It's the first of its kind in Canada. This is like the best present ever. I've been having to go down Strawn for so many years, you know, it's just kind of dusty, there's a lot going on, it's like this sort of bottleneck. But here, I haven't even gone across the bridge yet. Like, this is, this is going to be amazing. It joins all the parks. Yeah! <laughs> Pet owners and joggers like Bare Naked Ladies Jim Cregan are loving it. It's convenient. We have a downtown that is growing and that is healthy and that is active. We have a neighborhood to neighborhood and people to people connection, which we remember first and foremost in everything that we do. And the opening of this bridge today is a very important part of making sure that that remains in the front of our minds uh, as we uh, oversee a growing city. And with pedestrian fatalities, an ongoing concern in the city, safety is also a key feature of the bridge. I think it's great to just have a a uh, place that's pedestrian friendly, that's meant for pedestrians, a uh, safe uh, spot to walk and bike. This bridge connecting booming King West to the Fort York and the waterfront is part of building a renewed and beautiful waterfront city. And we should all celebrate. One side spans from the South Stanley Park extension over the Kitchener Rail Corridor and lands on the north side of Ordnance Triangle Park. The other side spans from Ordnance Triangle Park over the Lakeshore West Rail Corridor, landing in the grounds of the Fort York National Historic Site. Perfect for four-legged companions as well. It's actually very nice, especially for people that have pets as well. Uh, it just uh, seems to bring us closer to the parks. Local residents will also be invited to an official community celebration for the crossing hosted by the city later this month.